Okay, big dog owners, pay attention because we're going to talk about one of the true time-sensitive emergencies in animal medicine, the bloat, or GDV. GDV stands for gastric dilatation and volvulus. Now, if we break that big word down, gastric means stomach, dilatation means distension, and volvulus means twisting or turning. So what's happening in this condition is the stomach becomes distended and then twists and turns on itself. And when that happens, the entry and exit of the stomach are cinched shut and gas will build up in the stomach until the pet eventually passes away. Okay, now I don't want to say I speak for every veterinarian out there, but I think on this one, I probably do. Veterinarians absolutely despise this emergency. One, it's preventable. Two, if it does happen, it's extremely time sensitive and requires a surgery to fix it. And three, even with a successful surgery, pets can still pass away because of how hemodynamically unstable they can become with this condition. When it comes to the clinical signs of GDV, the first one is a sound that I can almost guarantee you stops every veterinarian's heart dead in their chest. And it's something called non-productive retching, which sounds like this. <laughs> the pet's also probably going to be restless, they're going to be agitated, their belly's going to be distended, they may collapse, and you may see some drooling as well. I've definitely seen GDVs in small breed dogs like Yorkies and Chihuahuas, but GDVs are typically big dog problems. So dogs with a really deep chest or dogs over 80 pounds. If you have a dog like that, please talk to your family veterinarian about a preventative surgery called a gastropexy, where we go into the abdomen surgically and suture the stomach to the body wall itself to prevent it from turning on itself. And for the love of God, if you see those clinical signs, please bring your pet to a veterinarian.